Hi everybody, welcome back again. Susan coming at you today with yet one more video. I'm really trying to knock out as much of these videos as I can today. Um, so I'm going to try to do this one and then maybe I will attempt another one um, after this. We'll see how it goes with baby um, allowing me and etc. But um, this um, was a requested video and this was... Um, Oh, I wish I wrote it down. I can't remember, but um, she, I believe it was a she. If not, it was he, so excuse me if I'm incorrect, but she requested a jewelry, um, if I could show my jewelry collection and what I have. So um, so with that, let me get right into it. Um, let me first start off by saying that I do not have a huge um, jewelry collection. I'm really, honestly, I'm not... Um, a person that's really into jewelry. Um, I have um, a few pieces of like fine jewelry because um, I believe that when you're paying a lot for this stuff that it honestly it needs to be items that um, I'm going to wear almost every day or at least you know three or four times a week. Um, I'm not into just purchasing big items to just sit in my jewelry box or inside of my armor or something and just sit there. So when I purchase things, um, it's things that I'm going to basically use every single day. And um, so with that being said, I don't have a huge collection. I do have a few pieces um, that I usually um, have on and usually see them in my videos and usually that's what I get comments on and people ask me what is it or what kind of watch or about my um, wedding ring, um, etc. So um, I decided today I'll just go ahead and make that video for you guys. It's not going to be a long video because like I said, I don't have a lot. So um, let me get right into it. The first thing that I will show you guys is my Cartier Love Bracelet, which um, everybody knows about. Um, the Cartier Love Bracelet. I have had this bracelet um, for a long, long, long time. I would say maybe 2000 or maybe so sooner. Or, um, I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look at the actual receipt. Um, but I've had it a long time, more than 10 years. Well, more than 10 years. I've had it before it was like a big fad um, or craze. So this is my Cartier Love Bracelet. This is an old version because it's an older one, which I did a review on this, and I did compare it to the old version and the new version, which my girlfriend had just got, and I showed you guys the difference on what the old version is and what the new version is. So if you want a full review on it and to see the difference, go ahead and check down in my channel and check out my Cartier Love Bracelet. Um, and I think the ring, I did them in the same video uh, review. And um, this is the white gold, and um, it is the Cartier Love Bracelet, as I mentioned, and this one is size 16, um, if it matters to anybody, and I like that size because I like it to be a fitted bracelet, and um, I was told by the Cartier associate that these are supposed to be a snug fitted bracelet. So um, that's my first piece of jewelry. My second piece is my Cartier Love Ring. And this is in the box because I have not been wearing it because also in my video I explained that I had a baby. And it fit before and for some reason now and actually it's going on even more. So maybe my fingers are still shrinking but I'm afraid to put it on because I may not be able to get it off. But this is the love ring and it is in the white gold too and it matches the bracelet. Um, and I did not get it as a set. I got this one later as an anniversary gift to go with my bracelet. This is a size six, I believe, or five in the quarter or something, but um, yeah, so that is white gold also, and that is the Cartier Love ring, ring, excuse me. So that is my second piece of jewelry in my collection. And I did um, a review on the Love ring as well in the same video, if you guys wanna check that out. The next piece of jewelry that I wear every single day and is probably my most beloved is gonna be my wedding set. And it is white gold again. And um, it is, I believe, four and a half carats total weight, maybe closer to five. Um, this is the center stone is a, um, and excuse me, it is extremely dirty. It is much more pretty and stunning than this one. It's clean. I really need to get it cleaned or polished. But the center stone is a princess cut stone. It is three, a little bit over three carats, the main stone itself. And then the um, band is just, it's two separate bands. 
and um, it has little diamonds around it. And um, when I first originally had this ring, it was just on a plain band. It didn't have diamonds. I later upgraded um, just because I, I don't know, I just felt it was kind of plain after a while. And I, I don't like a lot, a lot of like bling bling, but I wanted it to kind of stand out. So I got a little smaller set um, and they are little round diamonds. And I believe this is a carat total weight on or excuse me, I can't remember. Maybe it's a carat, or I don't know if it's half a carat, but total weight on here. I'd have to look up in the papers. I don't remember. I'm sorry. And then the other band that's separate is uh, diamonds around halfway. And I think that's a carat in total diamonds on this one. But um, they're two separate rings, and they make the set together, obviously. So that is my wedding set. And then the next piece of jewelry that I wear all the time, it's my absolute favorite watch, it's my um, Rolex watch. And I should have gotten out the um, box and papers. Um, this of course came with a huge Rolex box with papers and certificates and all kinds of stuff in it. Um, this one I got in 2000, either the end of 13 or the very beginning of 14. It was um, a brand new one. I don't know if you can see but um, it is stainless steel, and this is the man style link bracelet. And um, it, the face is a beautiful, like a pink, kind of coppery tone. And it's got um, a floral bezel inside of it, a print in there, which I thought was really, really cute and feminine for a Rolex watch. And um, it's got the little crown at the top, of course, for Rolex. And then it doesn't have numbers all the way around. It has the crown is 12. And then for three is the date. Because um, this does have the date on it. And then it's got a six and a nine only. So I thought that was super cute. When I first purchased this watch, it did not have the diamond bezel on it. It was just plain. And um, I opted to not get the bezel at first because I thought I didn't really want it. And then later as I wore it, um, I don't know, maybe a year or so, I just felt that maybe it was a bit plain, so I decided to go ahead and I took it back in um, to Rolex and then they added the diamond bezel for me. And I think this is, I can't remember how many carats the bezel is, it might be oh, two to three, but um, it needs to be cleaned as well because it's not shining as much as it could, but that is my Rolex watch with the... Um, I forget what they call the band style. I'm not a jewelry person, so I apologize for this half kind of ass, excuse my language, review. But um, I really don't know. But as you can see, these are like the men's links on it. Um, bracelet on this one. And then um, that's how it looks. And then it's got the Rolex crown. And then it just closes like that. So, um, yes, that's my watch. And then the next, I also have another Rolex watch, and I waited today to do the video because, um, as you know, if you have Rolexes, they have to be serviced, and this one Rolex I've had for probably 15, 14 or 15 years, and it got slow and it stopped telling time correctly, and then the little sapphire crystal um, face that they have on it had some chips in it. So I took it in and they had to service the watch, which takes a couple weeks, and then they had to order a new sapphire crystal. And then the crystal didn't come in yesterday like it was supposed to, so I decided to just go ahead and do the video and then I'll just show you guys a picture um, of my watch. This is the actual watch. Um, let me find it. I had it in here ready. Here we go. Here we go, that's the actual picture of the watch. Let me make it smaller. So that is the watch. And what it is, it's a Rolex, it's a black watch. Uh, I mean a Rolex in the stainless steel again, as this one, because I prefer the stainless steel. It's got a black face because I love black, if you know me, I wear black all the time. And it's just got the Jubilee. It's the smaller. Um, it's the smaller watch, the traditional size, which is much smaller than this, with the uh, traditional Rolex band. And then it's just got a diamond bezel in the inside, as the Roman numerals. 
the date as well, and then a diamond bezel on the outside, which is much smaller than this because the face of this Rolex is much uh, smaller than the face of this. It's a woman style watch. So um, that is my other Rolex watch. And um, it is stand still with the black face uh, and diamond bezel inside and out, as I mentioned. And um, and that is the exact watch. Mine looks exactly like that. And um, I think that is basically everything. As I mentioned, I'm not. Um, I wear this all the time as well, and it is white gold. And it's just a tiny little arrow necklace. Um, someone's asked me about this before too. I had it custom made, so it's a super super thin, uh, very skinny little ring and then this is white gold and then there's just little diamonds on the front and the back of the arrow which it's really hard to see in here but um that's this piece that I wear all the time too and then my husband and I have a watch that we share um he has several a few Rolexes himself but um this is the Rolex GST and this too is, this is a man's, and what's what I say for this one is a woman's watch, but it's a man's version. As you can see, they're about the same size. And this is called the GST, and it's stainless steel as well. And it's very similar to the Daytona, if you know about the, I mean, I'm sorry, the Submariner. He has a, a Rolex Daytona too, that's why I got confused and said that. Um, it's very similar to the Submariner which he used to have as well. The only difference is, as you can't see it now because it's not winding, um, but it's got a green hand in there, which the white is in front of it. And these watches, as you know, if you're not wearing it, they stop winding. So um, there it goes, it's winding, but it's got a green hand in there and it's just not gonna pick up in here at all. But yeah, um, I do wear this sometimes. And um, so if we kind of share this one, I guess it's really his, but I was just going to show this as well if you ever see me wearing this one in a video. So it's got the same exact band as this one. Um, black bezel on the outside and then inside no numbers just dots and then it's got the date as well and what looks like a little peace sign on there and then it opens the same exact way as this one did. So um, pretty much guys that's the gist of it my jewelry collection. So um, I I hope I didn't forget anything. I don't think I did because, as I said, I'm not really a huge jewelry person. But hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, and if you have any questions on any of these pieces, please comment below and, or leave me a question. I'll be happy to answer it. And I also have to do a review on this watch for um, LV Lover because she had asked about it. So I... Um, I don't know if this would be sufficient enough um, for you, LV Lover, but if you would like any more details on it, I will can go get out the, um, the box and the papers and everything and, and look up on it and give you more detailed information on this. Um, so let me know. And um, thank you guys so much for watching again. I um, hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.